Lawrence Korb is a former Reagan official who's now with the Center for American Progress. Uh, Larry, I'd kind of like to ask you, do you think that uh, Ronald Reagan would have invaded Iraq or Afghanistan in response to 9-11? Well, I'm certain he would not have invaded uh, Iraq because he would have recognized this whole idea of nation building and, you know, <clears throat> get transforming a society wouldn't work. He learned his lesson in Lebanon when we went in there and recognized that we were in the midst of a civil war and there was basically uh, <clears throat> no way out. He refused to, you know, go to Central America. A lot of people forget that a lot of people said we ought to put 25,000 people into Central America to avoid <clears throat> Soviets expanding into this hemisphere, and he refused to do that. I think he would have attacked Afghanistan. I don't think he would have gone there to the nation build. He would have, you know, uh, uh, attacked the Al-Qaeda hideouts and said, if they come back, I'll go back again. But that, I think, would have uh, been it. Do you think the Afghanistan uh, uh, venture now is ill-considered? Well, I think <clears throat> basically we didn't do it right. I think we were right to go in. I think President Bush was right when he told the Taliban, turn over al-Qaeda, we'll leave you alone. Then we went in. We didn't finish the job in al-Qaeda, diverted our attention to Iraq, and now we have the worst of all possible worlds because the Taliban has come back, and now you're involved in, in, in trying to uh, uh, stabilize a society whose leaders are corrupt. Is there a way out of Afghanistan that doesn't involve a great deal of embarrassment? Well, I think basically <clears throat> President Obama was correct to say he's going to start getting out by a date certain. And I think the problem I worry about is whether he'll keep to that. I think, you know, he said, I'm going to get out and <clears throat> start in the summer of 2011, you know, to, to get out. The question becomes, will pressures from both the military and some people uh, you know, political people keep him uh, keep him there longer, and it looks like now uh, uh, Vice President Biden, who was against putting more troops in, has now even said we'll stay past 2014. So you don't see too much uh, hope that we're going to scale back very much there. Well, not per, not per, I th again. I think if President Obama, if he keeps his word that, in, that he made in the speech at, uh, at West Point when he ordered the 30,000 extra troops in there to take it to 2011. I think that's what I hope he does. Whether he'll do that or not, I think it's less and less likely that has sort of morphed in now to 2014. Okay. Larry, thank you for being part of the Register Video Information Project. Okay, thank you.